Uh, what about like a start menu or something? Mm, no, it's nope. just that. M? Oh! Oh! M does it. Alright, so it M shows for map. that's locked. Um, you gotta go up the hallway and straight, it looks like. So, yeah, to my left. And then, yeah. Oop. Left and straight. Yep. Wait. I know there's somebody here. Well, shut up. I'm trying to sprint. Don't. Well, obviously somebody is there because they keep talking to you. Although, what from? What are they talking to her from? Like the phone or well, the, the PA system the PA that system? clearly is in good function, like the rest of this no, damn we place. Went there. Yeah. Red stuff. Mm-hmm. This is how I leave notes for my wife around the house. I nailed them to the wall with red glowing shit on them. Yeah, it's a good thing I know how to drywall. I see it. They've revealed the sigil. Reclaim it and bring it to the gateway. Okay. Adam, I think I saw that thing you were talking about the other day. I don't know what the hell it is, but it ain't no... It ain't a person. It is not a person. Wow. Or it isn't a person. Um, it just stared at me, and then it disappeared when I shined my light on it. Billy says I was seeing shadows, but I know what I saw. Something's not right down there. I'm putting a putting in a transfer request. Sign George. George, Learn dude, how to speak you're working at a fucking hospital. Oh, there's one to your left or right. Nope. Yeah. So there is. March 4th, 1988, concerning patient 13. I fear with the upcoming closure of the hospital, we will be unable to find a home for her ourselves. It's sad that a life brought into this world under such violence will now become a ward of the state. Oh, that, that is kind of sad. Uh, we will undoubtedly be... She will undoubtedly be bounced between institutions. That's the girl. That makes sense. Women are crazy. That's Even from birth. Poor thing. Kind of sounds like me. I'm a chick. What? <laughs> Wait, what did I just say? You're not a chick. No, dude. no, but the girl in the game is a chick. Like her character's a chick. You're like, sound like me. I'm a chick. Doctor um. Mercer, Nurse Foster, <laughs> has complained that orderly William Farish disappears for hours at a time during shifts, and then he will find. What, then when he finally shows up, he. His hands and knees of his pants are dirty. <laughs> well, we all know what he's been doing. <laughs> blowjobs. As though he's been digging out in the dirt. Okay, dirty blowjobs. When she asks him about it, he seems confused and asks where he can bathe. This is the fourth complaint in two weeks about Farish, and I thought the matter should be escalated to you. Signed, Percy. Oh, she's a glow stick. That's a nice sound. Okay. Um, History of New Kipling. Once a small fishing village, New Kipling blossomed into a prosperous town full of eager and optimistic people. The town facing overpopulation and limited resources looked into other options to sustain its people. Okay. Um, so like psychic uh psychic. Nah. Like psychics. Psycho wards. They're diversifying their economy. Whoa, look at your threat level. Okay, Wait, it's gone from like there? nothing to a symbol. Right. Why is it a symbol? I don't know. Why is Prince a symbol? Uh, good point. Okay, so it seems like these rooms have like no no use or no function. Yeah, but the second we don't check them, there's gonna be something in it. I yeah. didn't step on the chair. Just a 
book on chair. Yep. Uh, okay. And a uh, weird light that's coming from nowhere. Yep. That's fantastical. Unless it's coming from the, the window right there and it's going through the oh. wall. There's lights in that door. Yeah. Yeah, but I guarantee you if we don't check them. Yeah. Is that music? Yep. What is this? What the fuck? <sighs> so this happened. Are those baby bottles and stuff like hanging in? Uh, yes. Um, what the hell is that? Okay, it's a rock. That's a teddy bear. Is that the teddy bear that uh, they were like talking about, or? They were talking about it. Oh yeah, they were yeah. talking about a teddy bear. Uh, I've got my sister. Oh wait, look at your hand. There's something on your hand. Ooh. It began with infection, a black veil of sickness, disease, and despair, sudden and swift. Yeah, but I got a teddy bear. So like. Chick went crazy. Uh, apparently. I know there's somebody here. But yeah. Considering he keeps talking. Your hand's glowing red. Is it? Yeah. Where it's holding the teddy bear. I know you're there. Oh, you got a symbol on the back of your hand too, eh? Do I? Well, it's like carved in. Look at that. Here. Sexy. Okay, so I gotta go all the way back. Yeah. I'm gonna just run. Because uh, I don't think. I've gone all the way across the map to get this teddy bear. How can anything good happen? See? What? Oh, God. See? Yeah, really, eh? Run! The bag of infinite glow sticks. <laughs> Alright. What the hell? That whispering's definitely getting loud. Is there anybody in there? Teddy bear. Alright. Nothing on like a door like uh, teddy shaking bears. Shaking teddy bears? Yeah. I will shake my teddy bears. Because you know doors dissolve all the time. Yep. Means you should always go through them. 
uh, that door turned into a wall. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Oh, glow sticks. Use one, and then... Nope. Attention all employees. Last night at approximately 7 p.m., the power went off to the section, this section of the facility. Due to the unfortunate timing, we were unable to transfer a critical patient to the emergency department, and he passed away in transit in the hallway behind the records room of the of security door. To avoid this type of tragedy in the future, the hospital has decided that non-maintenance staff should be aware that all security doors will not operate when the power is out. You must reset the breaker before using the door. Please familiarize yourself with the power switch's location within the records room stacks. Signed, Management. Okay. It doesn't seem to be working yet. It okay. doesn't look like I want it to work yet. Yeah. I would assume that's the power switch. Mm. Or something. Attention all employees, we understand that it is a diff- it is difficult- Look at my reading, eh? <laughs> we understand that it is difficult mm -hmm. to make it it outside on your 10 minute breaks. However, just because the record room is large and has high ceiling does not mean you can move things about and create a satellite breakfast room for smoking. <laughs> we have caught several staff members moving supply crates, stacking them precariously and climbing over them to serve as a lookout. Be advised, this is not gym equipment. Climbing on crates and of medical supplies will not be tolerated. Signed, management. Well, yeah, I, I can see that. Medical supplies are expensive, and you are not children. Just because you work with them doesn't mean you should act like them. Ah. Um. I'm sure this will go... <gasps> Whoa. Okay. So, there was somebody there. Yeah, that looked like a little kid. So let's stop and read a note. May 1st, 1940. <gasps> My birthday! Uh, but not 1940. No, not 1940. <laughs> 50 years previous yeah. to my birthday. Concerning Mrs. Daniels' suicide. Mrs. Daniels was found dead in her staff quarters this morning. There was a suicide note inciting that she had... Sorry, indicating that she was extremely unhappy at work and her personal life, personal on-site state... Had, Sorry, personnel on site state that she died from rapid blood loss caused by self-inflicted lacerations on her wrists. Her body was found in a sitting wheelchair. Pending a police investigation, Mrs. Daniels' body was transported to the morgue. This is eerie, eerily similar to other instances. Other instances? Yes, nothing says happiness like... Um, oh my god. Creepy children running around. That didn't look like a child. Yeah, it looks like a little girl. No, that was way too tall. Oh, there's something blue over there, too. Yeah, but that I'm going to check over here first. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's no... So there's no real way she could have gotten back there, apparently. So now I have to follow the creepy kid. Yes, lovely. Kipling citizens accused crime. 16-year-old girl, allowed to live, admits guilt. Est condemned to hang evil uh, spitta open to deal with spread of disease. Right. What a lazy little bastard. Now, periods aren't consonants, ladies and gentlemen. Periods are not consonants. You think he's Welsh? 